Hey everyone, Jerry here, and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to work on something a bit spiritual. More to the point, we are going to work on the line of St. Mark. In the Christian Bible, the story and ministry of Jesus is written across four books. These four books are called Gospels. When translated, the word Gospel means good news or good telling. These four Gospels are represented by four symbols. Now, these symbols were not just plucked out of thin air. They were taken from the book of Revelation and the visions of the prophet Ezekiel. Each has a meaning behind it. Starting off, we have the Ox of St. Luke, which represents redemption and life through sacrifice. Then we have the Angel or the Winged Man of St. Matthews, which represents Jesus' link from God to man. It has his entire genealogy from Abraham to his father Joseph. Next, the Eagle of St. John, which represents the need to focus on things from above and a life in the world to come. And last but not least, which is the one we're going to work on today, the line of St. Mark, which represents resurrection, the return of the king, and the gifts of salvation. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. With that bit of history out of the way, let's get started. Starting off, I think it's best to explain what my motivations are for tackling a concept like this. My entire artistic career has been a chase. I have been chasing the great ones, the old masters, ever since I was 12. Now, the great masters are Leonardo, Michelangelo, Titian, Botticelli, and the list goes on. These are the key figures of the Renaissance. Their works really inspired me. And I always wanted to do artwork down the line in the same way that they did, to play in the same wheelhouse that they did, to create artwork to have an impact the same way that their religious artwork impacted me. That's pretty good motivation for anyone. So as we get into this, I don't need to create additional challenges. I think the concepts of resurrection, salvation, and return of the king are heavy enough as it is and challenging on their own. So we don't need to create any new things. But we need to figure out how to frame these things, right? So when you look at these three things, the only way that they can thrive is against a dead world, which is why starting off we're playing in grayscale. So I could play with the light and dark and get a sense of what the composition would look like. So as I'm doing this, I'm also doing a bit of research. And in Christianity, one of the roadblocks from accepting these gifts is a cold and hardened heart. So as I'm doing this, as I'm creating my composition, I'm also dropping in a little bit of texture. It's almost like a rocky texture, which I'm incorporating into the background. In the upper left-hand corner, we have these tree branches that are very vein-like, and the entire composition is very intimate. I was thinking of creating a bit of a heart. If you take a step back, you can kind of see the heart shape, the veins of the heart, and it's very hard and stone-like. So I think that's a good framework for it. Another thing I like to do is, well, first of all, I don't draw an entire illustration in one sitting because that would be madness. Um, I do take breaks. At a stopping point, I take a picture and then when I go back in, I use that as a reference to build upon that. So I'm constantly improving something that I already built on so I don't lose track. Composition looks good. We have all our elements. You know what that means? It's time to turn things up to 11. And we're done. This image is great, but I did notice there was an issue though. Um, the heart idea that I had in mind didn't really translate well as I was going into the final rendering. So that's a little bit of a miss. That said, everything else works. I think we hit all the notes we needed to do for this illustration. That's the thing with art. Sometimes you can have everything planned out and through execution, 
you don't always hit what you're looking for, but it doesn't diminish the final result, at least in this case. But that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.